Alrighty, PML fans, you know what time it is, and we're going to talk about Josh's team, the Browns. He drafted Grimmsnarl, Togetic, Blaziken, Slow King, Galarian, Magmortar, Lantern, Noivern, Exploud, Kofor Grigus, and Rillaboom. All right, Jaden, how do you feel about the bulk of this team? Yeah, it looks she's pretty bulky. Mm, pretty fat team. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty, it's a pretty fat team. It's pretty, pretty bulky. Bulky. She's uh, pretty thick. Um, you know, Togetic with Follow Me is excellent. Um, if I like and um, Follow Me will, it'll do a lot of redirection, do a lot of redirection as well. Um, I think, you know, and it's only helped by Jim Snell's kill screen ability. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, the other ones that he's started are generally very bulky, slow things, especially bulky. Billaboom um, can be quite bulky with running assault vests. It's quite, I believe, it's been led to believe it's quite common for Billabooms to be running assault vests and doubles. Um, Cafe Grigus is naturally bulky. I think he's just generally got a very, very bulky team. I think in that respect, it'll, it'll have a lot of staying power. I gave him an eight. I really like the bulk of his team. Um, he does have, out of his whole team, he only has two kind of glass cannon Pokemon, but that's what they're meant for for this team. They're really meant to take advantage of their teammates' bulk and set up and start hitting. I gave yeah, I gave an, I also gave an eight. I gave a nine because of screens from Grimmsnarl almost being guaranteed every game. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, nine for bulk. It's such a way as well that Grimstar could just run Reflect. Like, he doesn't necessarily need to run Light Screen because if you look at mm. you know, Slow King's better special defensively. Special defensive. Oh, sorry, I'm hard English apparently. Um, <laughs> he's better. <laughs> he's better special. Um, in special defense. He's better in special defense. Hold on, I'm not going to get it out. <laughs> yes, it's not just me. He's, he's better in the special defense category. Real Boom with an assault vest can hold its own. So it could, if he really needed to, really wanted to, he could just run with Lex. Mm-hmm. Magmortar specially defensive. So for Grigus, is defensive both ways. Lantern specially defensive. We go on and on. He's got mm-hmm. a specially defensive, naturally bulky team. Yep. Yeah. All right. I, yeah, so we all agree. Uh, well, Stu went, a, went up above, so he gave a nine. And Jaden gave an eight. And now that brings us to speed tiers. I gave him a 9. I like his uh, speed diversity. He has his fast mons and he has his slow mons. And none that really fall in between. They, they, they kind of fit their roles in what they need to do. And he can uh, build his team to exploit that. Depending on how the opponent preps. I also gave oh, I gave him an eight. Um, one once one below. Um, most of the same reasons. I think, you know, he's got good prankster abilities um, in Grim Style to get off thunder waves if you need to. Um Neuver naturally fast. Um Togetic, I believe, still gets tailwind, so you can provide that support to Rillaboom priority glass grassy glides. Mm-hmm. Um, and if he really wanted to, he could run the trick room on Fagrigus and um, run Sloking as a um, as a Dynamax Pokemon, which I would expect to see <laughs> in some games. Definitely. I agree with it, especially against the faster team. Absolutely. What does Curious Medicine do? Hey, um, Curious Medicine uh, wipes out all status effects from the field. So I mean, uh, interesting stat, stat changes. Stat changes, right? So it's like haze. So Built in haze when he sends it in. Yeah. So basically, if Kamo gets a belly drum off once Sloking comes in, it's gone. Right. No, no, no. So, cool. um, it's only for allies though. So on switching the Pokemon, the allies have their stat status reset to zero. Oh. Only their allies. Oh, that's kind of whack. So if you've had it, if you're minus something from close combat, you'll go back to zero. Okay, that's cool. That's very situational. I wouldn't know that. 
<laughs> no, I need a <laughs> regenerator. It is. Um, yeah, I gave it a eight for speed for the same reasons. Um, Grim Snarl, you know, Blaziken's fast as <clears throat> Noivern, very fast. Rillaboom has really, really good priority. Um, and the mons that are slow are usefully slow. Kofagrius is useful to be trick rooming and stuff, so I like it. And uh, what was your grade again? Eight for speed. Eight. Like right. we all went eights. I went nine. Ah, uh, the voice of country. <laughs> the voice of descent. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, that brings us to wall breaking ability, and I'll let y'all go first. I hit it with a seven for most of the reasons I already talked about. The mons that are supposed to be offensive are offensive, and the mons that are supposed to be defensive are defensive. There's no, like, you know, you're not going to run a defensive Neuvern, are you? So you're going to bring it max special attack, max speed, or whatever, every week, and click air slash or whatever moves you want to attack. Fair. I want a, I want a six, and, yeah, look, I just think some of these Pokemon, like, they They'll get stopped by ice. Um, Rillaboom, Noivern, um, Blaziken to a lesser extent. Obviously, you won't get affected by ice at all. But these big ones are Noivern and Rillaboom. I think they'll get they'll get stopped by any any kind of ice type move. Um, and I think they'll stop there. That well, you can stop them in their tracks, well, especially Noivern. Um, I just think outside of those, I just don't really see much more. Physical, mm. but much, much more um, wall breaking potential out there. Sloking could probably get there with, with Dynamaxing, getting Max Oozes off, boosting a special attack. Um, I can see him bringing, um, like, bulk up Grimstar. Like, I can see that as a, you know, very offensive and then not using it as a defensive mod or having a bit of utility both ways or something, but yeah, you're right. All right There's well... no G Max Blast, blast toys. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna sure. blow y'all's mind, but I'm gonna explain why. Uh, I give him a nine for wall breaking. Um, Noivern and Exploud are great special attackers. Uh, Grimmsnarl can be a great physical attacker. Blaziken, I would I can't wait to see or you know uh, see the stat board of it going uh, Dynamax with speed boost and max knuckling getting its attack up. And of course, uh, Slow King, the uh, Trick Room Sweeper on his team that can just tear through teams. Uh, I really think he has a lot of offensive pressure on this team, and that's why I'm giving him a 9. Fair. That's fair. Alright, that brings us to Recovery and Support. And I give him an 8. He has a lot of support with uh, Grimmsnarl, Togetic, even Magmortar gets uh, Follow Me. Um, Kofor Regis and Grimmsnarl could both get up screens. Lantern can uh, really support Blaziken and uh, Noivern with uh, soaking up either electric types or water type attack. And of course, like y'all said, Rillaboom with Salt Vest is just a thing. Don't necessarily think he brings it, but it's an option. Yeah, but uh, then uh, Rillaboom's uh, terrain is what I was meaning. Uh, boosts in health yeah. and grassy glide priority to yep. help yep, Blaziken's yep, yep. weaknesses. Sorry, I missed your score, Joe. What did you say? An eight. Yeah, I agree. I, I, also, gave, I also gave an eight. <laughs> and for mostly the same reasons. I don't think I'll add, actually add any. I don't think I'll be able to add anything of any value. Cover it off well. Then Jaden will let you lead off the team synergy. I think it works. I think the team works together really, really well. Um, you know, there's, there's some key Pokemon that you can see that will work together well. So Pokemon like Pythagoras setting up Trickton for slow thing because then Dynamax. But then you can also see that maybe um, uh, slow King could potentially boost Magmortar's special attack with... Um, with Max Uzi's. So they could 
there's teams that there's, there's element of these Pokemon are helping each other to become like a juggernaut. It's really, really quite, it can be really, really quite good. Mm-hmm. Um, but same token, you can also run a Dynamax Slowking in regular, uh, in a regular play. And if you had Protect on Noiva, and you can also boost its special attack by one stage. If you decide mm-hmm. you want to run um, Boom Burst on Noiva, and you can get it up another stage. It, it just, and run, run it timid, and it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, so it's going to be hard to stop once it's set up. Um, yeah. So I think it, I think the team works really really well together, and I gave it an eight. Yeah, I gave it an eight as well. Um, just building on that, I like the fact that there's um, pivoting options as well. I know it's doubles, so you don't use pivoting moves as much, but it's going to be handy for Noivern to be able to U-turn out or um, you know Rillaboom to U-turn out if it needs to, instead of just doing a hard switch because at least you get some damage off. You never know. Um, you get Volt Switch and that sort of thing too. So. I think that the, the pivot options are what put it up another level for me beyond the natural synergy that the team has. The only thing I, the only thing I did note, however, is that it doesn't have a steel type. So that could be an issue. But two fairies means that dragons aren't going to be a problem, right? So mm. Yeah, but for a lot of the same reasons, I uh, also said eight. We also, we also don't have a um, steel resist either, but we'll do it either. Mm. So those two fairies could be lantern. Does poison resist steel? Lantern does. I think so. Um, I don't know. Yeah, if, but... I don't know if grass does. Anyway, hey. All right, so eight across the board for that <laughs> one. Uh, what is y'all's yeah. final scores for Josh? Ah, uh, five eighths of forty. 40. 40. Uh, four eights and a six, so 38. And I had uh, 42. So I definitely give him the biggest grade there. All right, guys, that concludes the Cantonian side. Next video will be of the Galarian side.